Hey, what's up? And welcome back to the channel. I'm Marshall Lee, and I'm lucky to have been teaching, training, and competing in martial arts for my whole life. Now, this series of videos, it's the first week of the new combos. It's combos three and four with the cross and hook series. We started off working combos one and two by entering with the jab and going straight into the cross and hook, working that pivot around the center, okay? Making sure that one punch leads you into the next one. But what if you're too far away? What if every time you're moving in behind that jab, you're getting kept back or your opponent's moving away? Sometimes it can be an advantage to lead with a kick. We would do this all the time in freestyle kickboxing tournaments because you'd start with a kick. As soon as they deal with it, especially if it's a kick to the body and they try and jam it or they drop a hand to try and block, you immediately follow up with the boxing. So the first time we're gonna enter with the front kick instead of the jab. And the second time we're gonna do the same, but we're gonna finish with the kick on the opposite side. Now let me know whether you prefer these videos with more than one combination or whether you prefer me to go back to having one combination per video. I really want to find which is the best format for you to learn and for you to take some inspiration and get some motivation for your training. But let me know what you think about the combos. These are very aggressive kickboxing combos. Train them on your own on the bags and see what it looks like on the pads as well. Start with the lead push kick. Land, throw your right cross, hook, cross and switch into the lead roundhouse. Just like every combination this week, every single shot puts you in position for the next one. Now when you throw that front kick, you can either walk it in, you can step, or you can quickly switch the stance, give it a little skip. If you do this, make sure you throw the kick straight off the bounce, so the second you land, you know, get that stretch reflex, boom, bounce that foot up, get an extra little bit of dig from it. Think about what your combination is doing to your target. Make them block low, or even hit them in the body, ideally, bring your attention down. As soon as you land, bring your body weight forwards. Don't fall backwards. You wanna lean forwards into your boxing. Keep a little bit of weight on your front foot, and the same thing for the switch roundhouse. As soon as you land, bounce and draw it up. When you're working the pads, it's really about the accuracy, especially on these focus pads. So don't go smashing the kicks in full power. You're just gonna hurt your partner's wrist. If you want to go full power, use the bigger pads, use the tie pads. And the great thing here is, once you start building up that accuracy, you can really start working that speed and it's gonna imitate the feeling of sparring a lot more. It's gonna give you that feeling of sparring a little bit more closely than bags can. Now look how Matthew's moving on the pads. He doesn't stay in position. When he takes the kick, he just moves back a little bit with it. And he slides back, keeping that lead pad high for the final roundhouse. Pad holder's job, like always, stand strong, but give feedback. If I'm dropping my guard in the middle, Matthew's gonna be telling me. Make sure when you throw the push kick to bring your chamber up nice and high. When the kick's going to the body, you can get in the habit of um, throwing the kick from a very low knee position. This can be good if you're trying to get it in without it being seen, but most of the time, you want to have your chamber nice and high to have it between you and your target. This stops them moving in on you. It's why it makes it a good entry, because if I'm stepping forwards, the last thing I want is to walk onto a technique. Now, combination number four. We start with the push kick. And instead of kicking off the cross, we throw an extra hook and bring in the rear roundhouse. Jab the front kick to the body, cross hook, cross hook, rear roundhouse. Now I'm using the standing bag for these combinations just to get a bit of variety. And they pivot from the bottom instead of hanging from the top. So one thing you can do if you're a little bit more advanced is work the timing on the cross. You can see me doing this throughout the video. I throw the kick and then I catch the bag. I don't wait for the bag to stop. This is a great way to condition your hands and condition your wrists. I would not recommend this to a beginner. The last thing you want to do is sprain your wrist or even worse, break your hand or break your wrist and you'll be out of training for ages. So make sure you get confident with your hand position. Make sure everything feels perfect before you start timing it. It's just a little advanced trick that uh, I like to do when I'm training. Make sure you turn into each shot. <laughs> See you later, heavy bag. Once again, with the focus pads, 
take your time and get the pad position right. When you're happy with it, that's when you go faster. Now really the pad holder is the one who's always in control here. Pads develop even more cardio than heavy bag work because somebody else is setting the timing. This can interrupt your breathing and you can keep the pace higher. If you're working the heavy bag, you can finish your combo, you get out there a bit slower, maybe you take a few steps around while you get your breath back. And the pads, it's a little bit different. As soon as the pad goes up, you've got to go. Let's see it from the opposite angle. You can see that when I'm throwing the roundhouse, I'm drawing it all the way through, landing forwards before I'm coming back. This is because I personally wanted to put some more emphasis on turning my shoulder through and bringing my hips through. It's good practice to make sure that you're turning the kick through. Instead of just hitting the pad and coming away like a snap kick, like it's um, just for points, you want to make sure you develop that technique to turn all the way through, make sure your shots are going to be effective. There's nothing worse than kicking someone and they just look at you. <laughs> All right, guys, have fun with your training. If you're new, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.